I'm Minnie Halbrin in Chicago for the Padres Cubs Series, but today I'm on a very special assignment. I have to go explore Wrigley Field and the area around it, see what this place is like. I heard it's awesome. Watch out for flying balls. Let's go. Now, Wrigley Field was the first ballpark to let fans keep home run balls and foul balls. They're also the first ballpark that started this tradition of throwing the balls in that have been hit by the opposing team. So if someone catches a Padres ball today, guess where it's going? Back on the field. All right, you can see the scoreboard over there. It's one of the oldest scoreboards in baseball. It's a manual scoreboard. The only other manual scoreboard is in Fenway Park in Boston. One of the coolest things about it, no ball has ever hit the scoreboard. Ever. Now Wrigley Field actually opened as Wiegman or Wigman, no one seems to know, so I say tomato tomato, in 1908. Now it's a really old school ballpark. There's no jumbotron, there's no music before the at bat. There's not a lot of advertising around the field. See that ivy wall over there? That was planted in 1937. A few other cool things about Wrigley Field, the Chicago Bears actually played here for 50 years, up until about 1970. This stadium actually has the most logged NFL games of any other one in history. Another thing, the Cubs only play about 30 night games here a season. The field didn't even actually have lights until the 80s. So a lot of people skip and work to come watch these day games. I've never been to Wrigley Field, so it's like iconic. Yeah, it's so iconic, we have to come. All right, we're on the corner of Clark and Addison. Now this is the place where all the magic happens. This is called Wrigleyville. It's where there's more than 30 bars, restaurants, places for fans to hang out. It's what I call a party, right? Right? Do your little cubby dance. Go in it, go in it, do it in it, let's do it. What is Wrigleyville? It's a party. It's a, it's a party, that's exactly what it is. What are you gonna go do now? Well, we're gonna drink beer. Okay. And then we're gonna go root and root and raise a whole balloon at the ball game today. You've got a view here, kind of through the fences to the field here at Wrigley. Why are you standing here? Just to get a look at the ballpark since we haven't seen it before. Did you not buy a ticket and so this is kind of your free shot? This is my free shot. You don't need a ticket here at Wrigley. You can just kind of chill. You don't get to see the whole field, but you see some of it, right? Absolutely. You look like a serious fan, man. Yes, I am. What kind of fan are we talking? How long have you been going to games? 56 game? years. 56 years. These buttons on the top of your hat, how have they, I mean, where have they come from? From the 60s and all over, I've been collecting, I have seven hats. All right, I feel like you you know what's up. Yeah. What does it take to be a Cubbies fan? What do you have to be to be a Cubbies fan? What you have to be to a Cubbies fan is just come here and understand that you're not coming here only for a win. What are you coming here for, Judy? Always a win, but I come here for the beauty of Wrigley Field. <laughs> What's this band called? The Chicago Cub Dixieland Band. How long have you been playing? This is our 31st year out here. How many World Series have the Cubs won since you've been playing? Uh, none. <laughs> Probably one of the best stadiums in the country just because of how quaint it is. Yeah. So Quaint is a nice word for small. Do you ever get annoyed at the fact that it's like not modern? Never. No. Never. Never. You don't care if you if no. it's the dirtiest, if it's breaking down on you, if the roof is falling on your head. You don't want it. You don't want a new stadium. No, not at all. This place is awesome. You can see fans lining the streets. There's bars everywhere. There's Cubs fans everywhere, and I've actually seen quite a few Padres fans. I am visiting the Padres Cubs series, and my best friend Evan was a childhood friend okay. from San Diego. Okay, why? Why Chicago? Because it was on my bucket list. Oh. I like had, it. had to come to Wrigley. Are you going to go get your tickets? Right there at the VIP. We'll call. How come you're VIP? Uh, do I really have to give that up? Oh! Do I have to give that up? Baller right here. All right, these are the famous rooftops here at Wrigley Field. Now, in the old days, people could just come for free and sit on the rooftops and watch the game. Of course, people learned how to make a buck off of it, and now you have to rent out the rooftops and you, you know, you take a big party up there, you have a good time. I'm going to try and sneak up to one pretty soon here. Freddie from Murphy's Bleachers. Freddie, you said you'd get me on a rooftop. You can go out on a rooftop, look around, take pictures, and no problem at all. All about who you know, people. <laughs> How awesome is this? You can see the whole field. You can look down. You can see Wrigleyville. You can see your neighbors over here. Wave. Hi. Yeah, he's really into me. 
you just pop up here, you watch the game. How wriggly is this? This oh, it doesn't get more wriggly than this. The rooftops. How many other how many other baseball fields in this nation you really get to stand on rooftops of apartment buildings or houses and look out into the field? Yeah. Well, I was born uh, just a little bit away from here, maybe 100 miles. So we've been coming with my parents and friends and family for. 50 years. We live in San Diego now and have for 28 years. This ballpark is all about nostalgia and tradition and history. There's so many great new ballparks out there and they're a lot of fun to be at, Petco being one of them. Um, but coming back to an old place like this, that's pretty special. All right, it's been a really fun day here at Wrigleyville. I've seen so many sights and sounds and I've had a blast. But now it's time to watch the game. After all, that's my job, right? Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys.